Hey guys, in this video we're gonna set up a Chef workstation. Uh, we'll start playing with Chef using a virtual machine. Uh, the first thing we need to do is to install all the tools we will use. And the first one is the Chef DK. The Chef DK provides all the required tools you need to start developing Chef projects. And the Chef DK can be installed on Windows, on Linux or Mac. I'm on a Mac, so that's what I I need. I already have it in my system, so I'm not gonna actually install it. Um, the next thing we need is VirtualBox. Uh, VirtualBox is a virtualization tool. It's also available in, in, in Windows, Linux, or Mac. Um, e VirtualBox allows you, for example, to run Linux on your Mac or Windows machine or Windows on a Mac as a virtual machine. And the last one is Vagrant. Vagrant is a tool for managing virtual machine environments from the command line. So instead of using the VirtualBox UI, we use uh, the command line with Vagrant. That's, that makes easy, the workflow easier. So after you have installed all these tools, we can confirm everything looks correct running these commands. Uh, the first one is chef-b. This will uh, show us the chef development kit version and other tools versions. For example, you can see here uh, chef client. Chef client is a very important tool in the chef ecosystem. It's basically a tool that handles all the changes in the in the nodes that applies everything that it needs to to happen in the node. Uh, remember that a node is in the chef world is basically a server. It's, it doesn't have anything to do with Node.js or something like that. Um, Berks is another tool. It's, it's a dependency manager for cookbooks. So it's similar to other tools like NPM in the Node world or Composer in the PHP world. Um, another tool is Kitchen. Kitchen is a testing tool for for chefs, so it's the tool that allow you to, allows you to to test your cookbooks. And the last the last one is Inspec. It's a tool for testing security compliance. Next, we type this other command: virtualbox manage dash b. This tell us that uh, we have virtualbox version five point two. Blah blah blah, and um, vagrant. We have 2.0.3, so we are ready to start. So now I'm gonna create a new dir called um, Chef Tutorial. CD into it, and I need to run a, a command to initialize the vagrant file. This is vagrant init and pento slash ubuntu 18.04. This command generates a, a file called uh, vagrant file, which is the configuration file for vagrant. Uh, the last part of the command is the box we are going to use. In this case, it's, it's a box created by Bento and it includes uh, Ubuntu version 18. I highly recommend you to use uh, Bento boxes when you are working with Chef and Vagrant. And if you go to this website, you can see there are a lot of different boxes for different uh, Linux distros. So, yeah, anyway, let's run this. So now we can see there's a background file in this there. Let's open that up. And let's increase the font size. And you can see it's in this line this is the, the box we just added. And there's a lot of different things you can configure in a virtual machine. For example, uh, you can forward 
the the ports so when you are basically trying to to open a page in your browser you can use for example localhost and the port 8080 and that will be redirected to the virtual machine to the port 80. let's actually uncomment this line uh, yeah there are many other options like setting up uh, an ip you can add more folders to sync here you can def the increase the, the default memory for the virtual machine um, and for example here you can you, you can use a provisioning tool okay so let's save this and quit i'm using here beam but you can use the any editor you you want so um, the next step is to basically um, start the machine there's a command called background app this command basically boots boots up the the machine so let's run this command so the background app is finished um, so the virtual machine is is running now you can now ssh into the the virtual machine with this command background ssh let's clear this this background ssh so now now we are into the ss into the virtual machine um the next thing we want to do is to install um the chef client the chef client is a is the tool that is used by chef to to basically implement everything everything you put in the in the in the chef code so we need to download this from this url here there's this command here that we can use let's copy and paste that okay so now i should have all these different tools provided by chef the chef client is the one is the one we want to use let's check this out version 14 so the next step is to just do something with the chef client so i'm gonna create a new file in the in the chef tutorial there this is this base this there is basically the same one and this one as this one this is uh, a slash vagrant uh, because this uh, directory here is sync with uh, with the with background uh, so basically it's the same content so I'm going to create a, a new file here called uh, apache dot rb so yeah because chef uses ruby so let's open this up and let's make this bigger and here this is basically what we will call uh, a recipe in chef is, uh, is is where we put different resources so in this case i'm going to use a resource called package the, the package resource uh, is the one that allows you to install uh, packages in, in a in a server in a node so in this case i'm going to use the apache 2 package because i'm in i'm using here ubuntu if this was if this were a, a red hat distro will i will use httpd so uh, this block of code uh, takes some parameters here uh, the action is is a is a parameter that is used in every single resource so every resource in chef has an action in this case uh, we want to 
to trigger an install in for this for this resource uh, let's save this and see what happens let's go to the virtual machine we should see the file there and now we can run chef client local mode apache there's another option to run this this way you're running chef client will make chef not try to to find a chef server usually when you run chef client it will be to connect to the chef server and get all, all the information for the node and all the things chef needs to do but in this case we just want to to run chef on this particular file so that's the way to do it uh, chef provides another tool called chef apply it works pretty much the same but this is a wrapper of chef client but i t the 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 way you use chef in production is with chef client so so let's run chef client local mode hit enter and you can see here is starts the check line and I got an error uh, so this is very common in, in when you're working with chef when there's a when there's an error you should see an exception and I can, can see the exception here and I can get a lot of information about what, what was going on for example I can see here uh, the command that chef was trying to run on the on the virtual machine was apt get and I got a permission denied error because I, I didn't run this as root so that's one of the errors I think so let's try this again with sudo Okay, I got another one, I think. So yeah, this is the problem. We need to run apt get update first. So all the different repos are basically updated for this for the for the Ubuntu so now we should be able to run this so as you can see here is Apache 2 should be installed right now and you can see a summary of what happened here chef client finish 101 resources updated in 20 in 23 seconds so what happened if I run this again you can see chef client finish zero of one resources updated why this happened this is because if the package is already installed chef won't do anything basically skip that part so that's why we have this message here so Apache should be now installed on the server as you can see here I can curl localhost and I can get the default page Apache uses here and if we go to the browser should be able to see the page here because it's redirecting the 8080 port to the 80 in the virtual machine so now let's do another thing on the on this file on this recipe let's try another resource called file this one is to create new files in the in the server in the node so let's try to change the default html page that apache uses and let's try to 
to change to put this inside um, so the file resource have all these different parameters um, the content is basically what you want to to put in the in the file the mode is is whatever uh, permissions you want to put to the file for example I'll, I will do 644 uh, the owner is the user that will own the file. I will do w dot, dot, dot data, and the group will be the same. So let's say this and run this recipe again. And as you can see here when when chef runs when the chef client runs it, it gives you a summary of it, give, it gives you a diff of what's happening so it for example if you can see here the the file here has the, had this content so you can see the the minus here this was removed and this part was added you can see a plus sign left to this you will when you run chef client you will see this happening all the time so it's a it's a nice way to know what's happening in with the files so now we can see the file is it was actually owned by root and the permission was was changed to dot dot data the same for the group so now if we refresh this page we should see hello world so that work so what if i if i try to change the file in in manually like i try to do something here uh, i don't know don't know this file so i need to to use sudo so let's see hello world let's add more of this and save so let's see what happens when you run chef again and as you can see the file was in this state and when chef client ran it changed it changed it back to to the way we tell in the in the recipe to to uh to manage that content so that's one of the philosophies of of chef so you when you you create a recipe that's the stage you want the the node to be that's basically uh the definition of the of the state of the node so chef will try uh, will try to keep that state so that's it for this video if this was useful please leave your like and subscribe for more videos and i see you on part three thanks for watching